Hey y'all, I'm at the Fostoria Glass Show here in Nashville, Tennessee. Y'all come shop with me. This is their display table here at the Fostoria Convention. They're doing, looks like decanters and kitchen sets. Just, this is kind of like Fenton's display tables we do at our convention. Looks like they got all manner of different makers. There's some Blanco. Three or four pieces of Blanco. Uh, there's several pieces of Blanco. Look at that yellow one there. That's odd and different. Got some Heisey and some Viking. Some Fostoria coin, Pebble Beach. That's a pretty pattern. I've never seen that. It's a pretty pattern. Oh, look at the one with the Fostoria with dog etchings on it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah. That's really cool. Look at the colors. That's something that Fostoria really got right is they got their cobalt blues and their greens and their reds just gorgeous. Hey, look here. Here's some stuff we recognize. There's some Fenton. And look here at these sets of Fenton. Yee haw. Hmm. I wonder what this color is right back here. Autumn gold. That's one that I don't guess I've ever seen in person. That iridescence on that is gorgeous. Of course, we know the plum and topaz and ruby. That's that's a that's a humdinger right there. That American Fostoria. Woo! Holy cow! Look here's some money too. Fenton topaz. Yee haw! I love these. The Topaz picture set with cobalt blue handles. Isn't those gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Morgantown and Cambridge. Oh, there's some aqua opalescence for LaVey. Look at the Jamestown glass. Those are always pretty. Oh, look at all the different shapes. I didn't realize they made so many different shapes. I like the flat tumbler there in Ruby. That's a that's neat to know. Wow. There is just so much. I mean, look, they've even got really, really nice trays. Some of them matching trays. Whoa. That little joker right there, I bet it's worth a chunk of money. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Any square box I see in Fostory, I'm like, ooh, that's important. Look at the little bitty shot glasses back there on the back row. <laughs> that's cool. here you talking about some money 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 those d handled mugs there and look there at those mm, 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 mm. i wish i knew how much money i'd tell y'all but i know if i ever found it for less than three hundred dollars i'd probably jump at the opportunity to buy it Look at the Faustoria. Well, that's something I didn't know. The Faustoria did the ruby flashed edge. That's neat to know. Look at all the American lady. Mm. Let's uh, 
Let's get done with this display and then we'll go shopping. How about that? So y'all check out all this beautiful Viking glass. Look at these swung vases. Holy cow. Look at those, that gorgeous orange color. Look how huge that turquoise is. He's got 135 on that one. 495 on that big huge one. 635 on that one. Wow. We're gonna draw for another door prize if Shirley Carlisle is with us from Watertown. Please come to the front. Just check out all this gorgeous, gorgeous Viking glass. And look. Here's something that you might recognize that's coming out of the gift shop right now is the Viking dogs that fit and pressed. The ducks and a rooster and the fruit. Look at all the Fenton section. That ivy bowl's nothing to sneeze at there. 150 bucks. My friend Marty's with me. He's looking at it pretty hard. That reverse swirl. There's some of this stuff that's really hard to find. This has been an amazing show to come look at because y'all know I love my Fenton, but crap, I found stuff here that I'm like, okay, I'm a married spud, two Fenton. I can't just start cheating on them now. Y'all know I love squirrels chocolate swirl, squirrel. Barb's got some of this. I, look at how beautiful their display is down to there. I mean, it's just so eye-catching. Putting the colors together well with the pastels. How did it look? Those are Fostoria. Never would have guessed. Oh, look here at the American Lady and, oh, I'm sorry, that's Regal, JK. It says Regal pattern, $45 a piece. See, this is why I need to get familiar with all these other glasses because holy mackerel. Got a friend that would love to have all this Fostoria heirloom. Mm. The Fostoria, I call it the crown dish. Fenton made that as well in certain different colors. Here's some Fostoria coin. Boy, that's hard to find. Hard, hard stuff to find there. Look, the flared bowl slash cake. Cake punch bowl. $2. Wow. Great pieces of Fostoria here, too. Look at the huge underplates. Wow. I mean, huge, huge underplates. Let's keep shopping. This booth is that John Walk feller that I talk about quite a bit. This is his booth. He brought a whole lot of stuff besides just Fenton this time. He brought a boatload of Fenton, but Oh, he brought stuff that he don't even bring to my show. I'm gonna whoop him over that. Check out all that. Topaz. Look at there. There is a show horse right there. Wow. That is a show pony. I've never seen that. Come here and tell me about that. Tell me about this e-pern. That was done in uh, 1940 for a very short time. It is just actually a, what they call a peg vase. Fits into a flower frog like the September morning nips. Wow. Ain't that something. And for a mere $975, it can be yours. 
So if you decide you can't live without it, and of course it does glow, y'all holler at me and let me know and we'll get it from Mr. Walk. This is a very pretty piece of Kelsey Murphy right here. I've got that bowl, but mine's not etched. It's, it's super pretty. Let's see what all else he's brought. Fostoria heirloom. There's something you don't see every day is the balance of the snow cake plate. He's got just all manner of good stuff. He's still got my bath salt tumble up jar that I keep telling him just to put that in my inheritance. Oh man, there's a good piece right there. Silver turquoise. He's got $2.95 on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. Check out this swan. It's not the punch bowl. He says it's Cambridge. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, the details on that swan. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. This top row is for all of my Blinko collectors. Look at this i mean look at this huge now y'all may not can tell it from the video but that thing is probably almost three foot tall if i had to guess i don't have to tell y'all that's not going home with me do i you can you can probably figure that one out they've got lots of really great glass in this booth and I really like their setup. Very nice. They created some really nice shelves. They've got some really great Fenton. Um, I particularly liked the big hats. Those are really good ones. Look, they got some crystal crest. Remember from my short with the extra milk glass that makes it crystal crest, not just silver crest. Look at this big aqua opalescent basket. I just got some aqua opalescent in that I hope to have in my next sale, which is tomorrow night, maybe? Yeah. So today is the 16th. This probably won't go up in time, but heads up. <laughs> It's got Cambridge and glowy glass. Lots of Fostoria heirloom here and there. You know, and I hardly ever see it and then come to the Fostoria show and it's everywhere. Oh, I've got some of these in my shop and I love the color. I, that's not, I don't show up great, but it's really pretty. Look, there's even in a different pattern there. That's really pretty. I like those. And then the wall, a lot of carnival glass. Phoenix Consolidated. I have no idea what this is, but it caught my eye hard. That is beautiful. Let's see if we can see what it says. I can't read it because I can't get it back down here to me. But consolidated crystal, I think is what it said. Ruby flashed. I think that's just really pretty. Really great booth. These folks came all the way from Tyler, Texas to be here in Nashville, Tennessee. That's a haul now, y'all. Look at the Monet. Look, this bowl right here just caught my eye. $3.95. But I bet you, you ain't seen one. American Sweetheart. They brought a lot of depression glass. And they brought some Cambridge and some Fostoria and some Fenton. Looks like some Iris and Herringbone. I mean, let me back out just a little bit. There we go. Now we get all the shelves. This Fostoria heirloom again, like I said. 
a second ago. I never see it until I come to the Fostoria show. They've got a lot of really great Blendo. Those are mid mod for sure. Mid mod for sure. And they got some really neat patterns. Look at the atomic pieces. Those are really cool too with gold bands. Not super expensive, but expe exceptionally retro. These are really hard to find. I've never actually seen the liquor dispensers in that. Everybody loves Pyrex. Back out here so you can see the Anchor Hawking sets. And I'm here on Sunday. They actually opened up on yesterday, Saturday. And as you can tell, there's some pretty serious holes in this booth. So they've done well. Another thing that I liked about these folks is they came up with these really cool signs to talk about what some of their glass is, and I just think that's really neat. I got a few pieces of Viking and such. This man says he sets up at Round Top, so he knows his stuff too. Check out these beautiful etched pieces. Release and look at those. I mean, those mirrors just really make that sparkle. I, what caught my attention was these bad boys, and I walked up and they were already sold. And I was like, <clears throat> Y'all know I got one of those. That's an outstanding price for that. An outstanding price for that because I think I got like $250 on mine just because. Well, obviously, I found another one right then, but I dare you to find another one. Just kidding. There's one on eBay. But I'd prefer you to buy it from me, smiley face. Let me show you the Cadillac right here of this man's booth. Check out this Capern that's LG Wright. Is that not amazing? $6.95. That is the showpiece of Fenton for the show in my opinion. That is freaking fantastic. He uh, he definitely came up with some really great glass here. Some really great glass. He must have had some really great glass too because there's a whole bunch of empty holes too. Next time I'm gonna have to get here on day one. Hey y'all, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you again soon.